to Norway. A holiday in America. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, some of our steam locos actually managed it. In 1933, in Chicago, there was an exhibition called The Century of Progress. And the LMS sent a locomotive from the Royal Scott class. What they did, they chose one that needed refurbishment, which happened to be number 6152, the King's Dragoon Guardsman, and they refurbished it. And then they swapped the identities. 6152 and 6100, Royal Scot, which was the doyen of the fleet, swapped identities. So the one that went to America was numbered 6100. But it was originally 6152. Anyway, when 6100 returned, the identities were never reversed. So the locomotive that is now preserved, 6100, is the one that went to America. Well, we don't have 6100, but we do have 6106, Gordon Highlander, which we'll be watching today. Another LMS icon of the 30s. In 1939, we had the World's Fair in the United States. And Duchess of Hamilton, that we're looking at here, number 6229, went to represent the British trains. Went on a bit of a tour, I do believe. Although they changed the name to 6220 Coronation, stayed red, but took the name Coronation. And on return, the identity is switched back to what they should be. So the Duchess of Hamilton, that's in the National Railway Museum in York, is the one that went to America and was named Coronation. So I'll be running Duchess of Hamilton today. The Gressley A4 Streamlined Pacific. We're looking here at 60022 Mallard. Well, a member of the class, sister locomotive number 4496, was its LNER number. It was called Golden Shuttle. In 1946, Golden Shuttle was renumbered 60008 and given the name Dwight D. Eisenhower. Then in 1963, when that locomotive was withdrawn by British Railways, the Americans thought, let's take it to America. So they did that and they put it in a museum in Green Bay, Wisconsin, I believe. Anyway, it did return to England in 2012 for the Great Gathering. But it has since gone back to America. So more than an American holiday for number 4496, more of a, an American retirement. In 1963, locomotive number 4472, also known as Flying Scotsman, that was numbered 60103 in 1963, was withdrawn by British Railways. And a guy called Alan Pegler said, You can't scrap this locomotive. I'm going to buy it. 
So that's what he did. He took it on various steam tours, which was a bit exceptional because steam was meant to be banned after a certain time, but somehow Flying Scotsman got away with it. Then Alan Pegler had the great idea of a US tour. So in 1969, away went Flying Scotsman to America, did many, many miles, much, much touring, and didn't make any money because that wasn't allowed, and Alan Pegler went bankrupt. So in 1971, Flying Scotsman locomotive was stranded and got stuck in some siding somewhere. Anyway, 1973, Sir William McAlpine stepped in and said, this can't happen. I'm going to buy Flying Scotsman and bring it back to England, which is what he did. Of course, then there were later tour to Australia. But that's another story. Anyway, well done to the owners of Flying Scotsman. Gonna fly today? Let's do it! <laughs>